Hmm, so apparently this new Waves plugin can salvage any voice recording, no matter how bad it is. Interesting, let's check it out. Hello everyone, welcome back, Dom here, and I'll be honest with you, I wasn't planning on making a video today. I'm still recovering from the Cubase 12 release, I'm updating all my systems and I have a lot of work to do. So this is a new plugin from Waves, actually it's two plugins, I'm gonna talk about this in a second, and it's called Clarity VX. And basically what it's supposed to do is that it's supposed to salvage any voice recording, vocals, voiceovers, no matter how bad it is, and it uses is neural networks to do that, so some sort of AI. And I'll be honest with you, I've been doing audio restoration for many years, I have lots of experience in this area, and this is a special plugin, I really like this. The great thing about this video is that it doesn't have to be long, it's gonna be super short, because the plugin is so easy to use that literally you don't need to have any knowledge or you don't need to do any complex offline rendering and stuff like this. Let me show you, let's jump into Cubase. So here's the plugin, here's how it looks, and as you can see, it's dead simple. There are very few controls, there's the neural network selection here, you can choose from Broad 1 and Broad 2, there's the analysis mode that I'm going to explain, and also the width control. And then all you have to do is just use this knob here, and it does all the magic. Now, in order to test this out, I actually went out with a portable recorder, and I recorded some voiceover outside in a busy street in London. You know, London is always busy, you can't get around this. So I'm going to play a portion of the recording that I made and let's see how we can get rid of all the noise, okay? Let's have a listen. With clarity and how far we can push things. I'm really interested to check it out. Yeah, there's tons of noise, tons of noise. So let's say I wanted to record like a vlog or something like this here. So as you can hear, it's a, a very random noise, right? It's not like a computer fan or something like this, which is relatively easy to remove. Well, not really easy, but if you have the right tools, you can do this. This has a lot of stuff going on in the background. It's not consistent, it changes, it morphs. Let's see how we can get rid of the noise with the Clarity VX. I'm just going to turn up the knob, right? With Clarity and how far we can push things. I'm really interested to check it out. Yeah, there's tons of noise, tons of noise. So let's say I wanted to record like a vlog or something like this here, or maybe I wanted to do um, with clarity and how far we can push things. I'm really interested to check it out. Yeah, there's tons of noise, tons of noise. I mean, seriously, the noise is completely gone and there are no artifacts and all these things that you would expect from a process like this. This is so... With clarity and how far we can push things. I'm really interested to check it out. And the great thing is, it's so simple to use, you don't even have to do anything. Uh, you don't need to render it, it's real time. I have to tell you, it's a little bit CPU intensive, but for what it does... <laughs> Oh my, it's really, really cool, and it's also fully automatable. Now, if you have something that is a stereo recording, like this one, for example, you can turn on the double analysis, and it will analyze the left and right channels separately. Let me widen this, because this was actually a stereo recording. With clarity and how far we can push things. I'm really interested to check it out. Yeah, there's tons of noise, tons of noise. So let's say I wanted to record like a See vlog or something like this here, or maybe I wanted to do um, with clarity and how far we can put. So what I like to do actually, I already have a technique with this plugin. When I have a voiceover, I am most likely to keep it in the center or a vocal. So I actually do my analysis in double mode and then I reduce the width to make the recording mono. Check it out. Push things. I'm really interested to check it out. Yeah, there's tons of noise, tons of noise. So let's say I wanted to record like a vlog or something like this here, or maybe I wanted to do... Um... Like, this is like I recorded it in a room, okay? In a quiet room, actually. Now, once I did this test, I wanted to take this to the extremes. So I actually 
went into my kitchen and I started recording all sorts of crazy sounds, okay? So let's have a listen to the recording without the Clarity VX. Uh, yeah, this is, I mean, this is quite intense. I'm gonna be very surprised if the plugin can remove all these things. Let's make sure that the noise changes as well. And, um, and let's see if we can kind of get rid of <laughs> this cannot be saved, right? That's what I thought. This, there's no way we can get something usable out of this material. Check it out. Uh, yeah, this is, I mean, this is quite intense. I'm gonna be very surprised if the plugin can remove all these things. Let's make sure that the noise changes as well. And, um, and let's see if we can kind of get rid of <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is, I mean, this is quite intense. I'm gonna be very surprised if the plugin can remove all these things. Let's make sure that the noise changes as well. And, um, and let's see if we can. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell you, if you wanted to do this somehow, uh, even with an offline process, it would be darn hard. It's really, really hard to do this using even complex algorithms. Now, the fact that this does it in real time and Clarity VX does this using a one knob process, it's really unreal, okay? And this is gonna come in handy for so many people that are not engineers, that, you know, they're not really comfortable into like super complex software that you need to learn noise profiles, you need to do multiple processes one after the other in order to get to a good result. This is really usable and this could not be saved, seriously. Uh, yeah, this is, I mean, this is quite intense. I'm gonna be very surprised if the plugin can remove all these things. Let's make sure that the noise changes as well. I mean, there's a little bit of, you know, loss in the top end, but you can easily compensate with EQ with this. Now, this is a recording that you can work with, with this. Well, and, um, and let's see if we can kind of get... Yeah, this is like pure wizardry, okay? Now, I want to show you very quickly, there's a bigger version of this plugin that can actually do more stuff. So this is the Clarity VX Pro, and this is a multiband version, but not only a multiband version, it gives you way more control. You can separate the voice, you can just listen to the ambience, you can do multiband corrections, and you can choose how much of a process signal you're going to have. Then we have a very clever ambience gate that will detect if there's a voice in the signal and this is when the gate is going to be activated or deactivated. So it's not level specific, it's voice specific. So if you have a voice, the gate opens and if it doesn't detect a voice, the gate closes. Really clever. But let me show you how you can treat this with this bigger plugin, right? So I'm going to go again all the way to zero. Uh, yeah, this is, I mean, this is quite intense. I'm gonna be very surprised if the plugin... And now we can only hear the ambience. And you can now choose how much process you want. <laughs> I'm gonna be very surprised. I mean, you... I was doing all I could to make this really, really challenging for the plugin, but it really works. Uh, I have yeah, to tell you. This is, I mean, this is quite. If the plug. You know, I had water running, I was banging things. It's really, really powerful. Now let's try it on a really noisy vocal. If you're feeling down and out. Now, this is like you recorded this with a cheap preamp turned all the way up, a cheap microphone with all kinds of self noise, and also while your laptop's fans are spinning like crazy, okay? This is not normal. This is really, really bad, okay? If you're feeling down and out, your heart is full of doubt. If you're feeling down and out, out. Your heart is full of doubt. If you're feeling down and out. I mean, for vocals, I would probably go a little bit less than a hundred. For example, I would go. Your heart is full of doubt. If you're feeling down and 
Oh. That would be enough for me. I mean, this, I mean, of course, it's not ideal if you have so much noise in your recordings, but this I could work with. Or I would go a little bit higher and just compensate with some top end with an EQ. Your heart is full of doubt. Even this would be acceptable be for me, but this, down and out. this is crazy, right? So this is the new Clarity VX. I think it's a really, really interesting plugin. What really makes a difference for me is that it's a one knob process. You don't need to learn anything. You don't need to learn any noise profiles. You don't need to run it offline. It's really dead easy to use. The results are really amazing. And the most amazing thing about it is actually the price. This is priced at $29.99. If I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna leave Leave a link down below if you want to check it out, if you want to try a demo or something like this, try it for yourself. I'm not going to tell you what to buy, but if you decide to pick it up and use the link below, you're also supporting the channel. So I thank you in advance. I want to share this with you because I know that many people have problems with their vocal recordings, their voiceovers, they do YouTube, they do videos, they have noisy rooms. I mean, for crying out loud, if you're using a MacBook Pro, not the M1s, they're freaking noisy. I know the struggle because every single time I record with this laptop, I have to denoise and restore my voiceovers every single time. So I've been there, that's why I wanted to share this plugin with you because this made me happy. So I hope you enjoyed this, my friends. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like. It really, really helps. Don't forget the bell as well. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.